South Florida. Perhaps one of the weirdest places on the planet. While this area is often credited for some of the strangest human residents, the wildlife that it hosts can be just as bizarre. The humid tropical environment provides a perfect habitat for countless invasive species from Asia, Africa, and South America. Unfortunately, these species tend to outcompete native populations, which can lead to the unbalance of entire biomes. This, mixed with ignorant environmental choices from those in power, only results in catastrophic disaster. Sadly, one of these ignorant choices is in the works today. Senate Bill 2508 is a current example of these poor decisions. The plan involves pumping water south towards sensitive habitats near the Everglades, which would set back years of clean water effort instantly. If you are a resident of Florida or an eco-minded individual, I highly recommend checking out Captains for Clean Water on Instagram and Google. Your voice matters and we need it to help keep the glades alive and flourishing. I try my best to make the 10 hour drive from Charleston to South Florida at least once a year. On this particular trip, my friend Parker and I had a mission to not just find the fish, but any wildlife that can be encountered in this unique environment. So sit back, relax, and enjoy a little taste of what South Florida has to offer. There's a shark right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a shark. Chilling right here, dude. There we go. Oh, it's a barracuda. How did he not bite me off? How did you not bite me off? I might have to use this guy for shark bait. He's a little on the small side, so I may let him go. If I can unhook him and release him successfully then. Okay, he was good to go, cool. No hungry snook laying up in these mangroves, huh? Is that barracuda? Yeah. Ugh. Ooh, a little better size. We're gonna catch a shark on this fella, guys. He is gonna bite off the line. No, he's not. Heck yeah. Dude. That right there is our shark bait. All right, so these barracuda have to be 15 inches to the fork and he was perfectly on the dot. So we're gonna use him for bait, drift him around in this deep channel and maybe hook up with a sea monster. So I wasn't recording, but I just got absolutely smoked by a giant shark. I don't even want to know how big that thing was. I had no chance of landing it. My GoPro battery died and I was trying to change it while having the rod in the rod holder and everything was a mess. I forgot to turn this camera on for some reason, but he just completely snapped my rig within like 30 seconds. So I'm rigless, I'm baitless. I think Parker and I are gonna pivot and see what else this place has to offer. 
It is impossible to not be entertained by the life inhabiting South Florida. Parker and I were lucky enough to find some extraordinary specimens, such as the Sandhill Crate. My personal favorite bird of the trip was this limpkin, a bird that looks like an elegant oversized clapper rail. These guys are adapted to eat apple snails specifically and spend most of their time foraging for these large gastropods. Once the victim is located, they use their sharp, slightly curved beak to kill and detach the snail from its only source of protection. Talk about a rough way to go out. We also came across some beautiful snakes thanks to the help of Parker's friend Tyler. A couple of my favorite finds were this corn snake and beautiful scarlet snake. We found both of these snakes at the exact same time which was really cool. After two sleepless nights, it was time to return to Fort Pierce. Neither of us wanted to go hard on the fishing, so we hit the local pier and had a friendly competition to see who could catch the most species. All right, we're gonna drop these at the exact same time. Three, two, one, drop. There we go. No way. Dude, that's sculpin. Some type of sculpin. Boom, first fish of the day for Joseph on the leaderboard. That's a some type of sculpin we're thinking. We'll identify it later. What'd you catch? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Oh, that's a, um, that's a white grunt. This is a white grunt? Yeah, All right. Marker's first species, white grunt, son. All right, you can... Yes, sir, one to one. There we go, got something. It's a little heavy. Okay. Oh, it's a tom tate. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get one. Let them eat it. They got slim. I know, but the bait seems like my. There you go. Double up on tom tate. Really? Or is there a blue one? No, oh, that's tom tate. Doubled up on tom tate right there. Species number two for both of us. Three species total between us. <laughs> I don't think I was. You were, you were, you were. <laughs> oh, that's a pig fish. Yeah. That's not a pig fish. It's not? It's so good. That thing is gorgeous. Oh, look at the colors, the yellow, man. Oh, yeah, pork fish, baby. Let's go. Oh, it's a spot tail pinfish. Spot tail pinfish. Oh yeah. Dude, Parker, the best fish of all time. It is, baby! <laughs> it's a beautiful fish. Oh, they're gorgeous. Some type of scope in there. Oh, dude, scorpion fish. Yeah. Hey, fish on. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a huge ribbon fish. Dude, that thing is crazy. All right, here, drag him up. <laughs> that is an 
alien. An absolute alien. There you go. It's going backwards, dude. That's insane. That's a wrap, everyone. Appreciate y'all for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoy what you're seeing, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. It's totally free and helps me out a lot with the algorithm. If anybody is interested in supporting the channel directly, I am now on Patreon, so it would be much appreciated if you consider joining. The link can be found in the description of this video, or you can search Fishing with Joseph on Patreon.com. Thanks as always, tight lines, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay hooked.